and I wrote a book called The Spirits of Sexual Perversion, a reference book. And if anybody wants to check that book out, DrIntimacy.com, or you can get it on the uh, the radio station website too, InspiredIntimacyTalkRadio.com. But the book is off the chain, and I'll talk about um, 11 different spirits of sexual perversion in the book and how they operate and what their agenda really is. Because okay. people think that sexual perversion is just about the sexual act, like, you know, if, if there's a spirit of homosexuality, it's just to make you attracted to the same sex. And no, there's a whole other agenda behind that spirit to rob you of your identity wow. and your place in the family and your order in nature. Uh, spirit of adultery, you know, unfaithfulness and tearing yes. you away from your faithful commitment to God and your obligation. So there, there's this whole other agenda behind it. Why am I saying that? Mm -hmm. Because God gave me a revelation on the spirit of promiscuity. Promiscuity is a lack of selectivity, not being selective about who you wear, how you spend your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And one of the reasons that people have difficulty being alone is because because of promiscuity. Mm -hmm. Now, promiscuity is not just having sex with different people. Right. It's also just an overall lack of selectivity about who you spend time with, yes. who your friends are, what you're doing. Yes. Okay. And what happens is you begin to make all these soul ties with people because you're so empty and void inside mm -hmm. that you always need to be connected to someone or something else to make you feel whole or stable. Right. That's a spirit of promiscuity. That's mm -hmm. the real agenda behind promiscuity, not necessarily to make you sleep with a bunch of people, right. although that's a part of it, mm -hmm. but it's really to prevent you from ever being alone. Wow. The spirit of promiscuity wants to prevent you from ever being alone, to constantly be making soul ties and covenants with people so that you can never discover your own greatness in God, wow. so that you will never discover your own destiny, your own purpose. Before he formed you in, his, in your mother's womb, he already right. knew you, he already called Absolutely. you with a purpose. But in order to discover what that is, you need to get alone with God. See, being alone, we're, we're never really alone. Right. You're just alone with Him. Right. And people Absolutely. don't have a conscious awareness of the presence of God. Okay. Right. He gave me, uh, He gave me this phrase one time. And he put this prayer in my heart. Lord, make me, make me the awareness of His nearness. Yes. Give me an awareness yes. of Your nearness. See, so we're never alone. That's right. So people who are That's afraid right. to be alone are promiscuous people. They've made a lot of connections, a lot of soul ties. Mm -hmm. It allows all types of spirits to attach themselves right. to you, all types of witchcraft, all types of problems. Right. You're picking up other people's junk. You're hearing, you know, there's noise in the spirit world. Absolutely. And when you have all these soul ties with people, it's like having, you know, it's like having a hundred different things on at a time. You got 20 TVs on, 30 wow. radios, you know, 10 different phones going on the internet. There's all this spiritual noise. You're hearing everybody else's conversation. You're feeling their pain, feeling mm. their emotion. You can't even find yourself in all of that. And I'm sure you can't function either. You can't function. How can you? Can't you? Think. So when people don't like to be alone, people that don't like to spend time alone going in, mm -hmm. then check it out. Th test it out the next time you get around, because you know people like this. Mm -hmm. People that can't stand to be alone, yeah, they jump around. They, they tend to jump around from church to church, mm -hmm. job to job, friend to friend. They're always changing their favorite so-and-so, you know, yeah. this is their favorite team. Now that's my favorite <laughs> team. They change their favorite TV show. You know, everything's their new so. favorite ending. Oh, girl, you hit it on wow. the head. That's a manifestation wow. of spirit of promiscuity, being constantly indecisive, always changing what you want to do, always Absolutely. changing your major, changing your job, changing yes. your career, changing schools, because there's too much noise. Wow. So it is detrimental. Wow. Even if you're in a relationship, you have got to get alone You most certainly with God. do. You yes. need to be alone with yourself, turn yes. everything off, turn the phone off, That's turn right. the TVs everything. off, turn That's the internet right. off, and sit there and let your creator speak to you yes. about why he put you on this earth. Absolutely. And you are no good to anybody if you can't do that. Absolutely. And when you do that, Make sure when you're talking with God, you sit back and wait for an answer. Mm -hmm. He will give you mm -hmm. an answer, but you just can't pray and then go about your business. Right. <laughs> sit back and wait. He has something to say to you. And, and, and I mean, and it's really the truth. And you'll know. He won't give you something that you won't know is him. 
it's really amazing to know when God speaks to you because he does to me quite often, especially right now in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm literally following his steps. He's ordered steps that I'm literally following. I'm just following a script. Mm -hmm. I just know when he talks to me and it's amazing because here I've ended up in Arlington, Texas from Flint, Michigan, you know, on a whim. I didn't know this was going to happen. And I'm, I'm just blessed because I know what I heard and things that study happen. Look, I'm going to be on a show. I'm going to have a show <laughs> with King Charles. We're going to be on a show together, our own radio show. So right. amazing things has already started happening. I've only been here, what, two, three weeks now? Right. Yes. And that's from you being alone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Allowing him, allowing him to, so we're never really alone. Yes. I think that's what I really Very wanted true. to drive home. You're not alone. That's right. You're together with him. You're just separated from the distraction of other Absolutely. people, other spiritual energy, other other soul. But I'm going to do a whole show on soul ties. Yes. I'm going to do a whole show on soul ties and really explain what that is, how they happen, and most importantly, how to break them. So, wow. But listen, it's been so much fun. Our time is Already? up. Already? Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? It's just over, Golden Beauty. Yes. But I want to remind everybody again, Golden Beauty and King Charles will be having their own show. Yes. King Charles Topic of the Week beginning September 1st. Absolutely. It's going to be Thursday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Absolutely. That information will be on my website. I will be there to help launch the show that first night. Yes. So that's September 1st. Make sure you listen in. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot of fun with the just what you heard tonight, that's what you're going to be hearing on the show. Absolutely. Obviously, you hear how eloquent and wise Golden Beauty is. I call her Thank a life you. advisor. I'm going to talk about branding you like that. But uh, <laughs> she's a life advisor. And Thank King you. Charles is just such an awesome yes. man, such an awesome yes. example yes. Of, of how to come rise from the ashes and become something yes. great. King Charles has spent 23 years of his life in prison. Yes. And you would yes. not know it if you meet him. Absolutely. He doesn't talk like it. He doesn't look like it. That's he right. doesn't carry himself that way. That's right. Um, and so he's an awesome example of yeah. how to rise from the ashes. Yes. I would recommend anyone tap into the greatness that is in this man. Absolutely. And you and King Charles together. Wow. What a combination. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm excited. I feel so honored that I'm God excited. used me to introduce the two of you oh, to radio. Thank you. That is so I wonderful. Gave, yes, you did. And we thank you. you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. With much applause. Yeah. We thank you. Because, you know, he was going to take another another route that he didn't. And this was the route to take. And, you know, we didn't make a mistake. It, it's a wonderful thing what we're about to do. So, again, I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, I, I've got the signal that time is up. Don't forget to vote, Inspired Intimacy Talk Radio.com. Stop and vote right now if you did and share it with somebody. This is Dr. Intimacy. We'll be back next Wednesday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., exploring the naked truth about love, life, and intimacy. And once again, shout out to our sponsor, J2 Auto Sales. Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs>